Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, last year in November, I posted that a leak had confirmed that Microsoft Office 2024 um, will be available this year and it will also have a standalone version. Now, I'll leave that video in the end screen of this video, but just to give you a bit of a news update regarding Office 2024. Now, according to a recent blog post by Microsoft, um, a commercial preview of Office LTSC, which, is, which stands for Long-Term Servicing Channel 2024, will be available from next month, April. And we are expecting a full launch scheduled for later this year, 2024. Now, the Office Long-Term Servicing Channel, um, according to this blog post, is supported for five years. And the good news is it's not only going to be a subscription-based service, but as mentioned previously, there will also be a consumer kind of focus version um, of Office 2024 that will be available um, as a one-time purchase model, which is a more kind of traditional approach to Office, which I think is good news for a lot of users. Now, just to go through a couple of the new features that um, this preview version of Office LTSC will include. And according to Microsoft, it will include new meeting creation options and search enhancements in Outlook. They also mention dozens of new Excel features and functions, including dynamic charts and arrays and improved performance, security and accessibility. Now, Office LTSC 2024 will also roll out um, without, unfortunately, the uh, Microsoft Publisher. As I have mentioned, a Microsoft Publisher is soon to be um, kind of deprecated and Microsoft is going to end support for that. And I'll leave that video in the end screen of this once again. And it also won't include Microsoft Teams because as posted previously, um, Microsoft Teams can now be downloaded separately from the Microsoft Store as its own standalone app. So Publisher and Teams will not be included in Office LTSC, so just something to take note of that. Now, um, Office 2024 will also be available for Mac OS, Windows 10, Windows 11, and there will also be a 32 and a 64-bit version. And I was asked that question quite a bit after posting that previous video last year. So there will be a 32-bit and a 64-bit version um, for consumers, which I think is good news. Now, Microsoft says in the blog post regarding consumers, they are also planning to release a new version of on-premises Office for consumers later this year called Office 2024. Office 2024 will also be supported for five years with the traditional one-time purchase model as mentioned. They also say that they do not plan to change the price, which is good news, for these products at the time of the release. And they will also announce more details about new features included in Office 2024 closer to general availability. So I thought I'd just keep you updated because there was quite a lot of interest uh, in Office 2024 when I posted previously. And just a quick news update. And Microsoft has also mentioned from the blog post that they are also committed to another release in the future. So we could be getting an Office 2025 and Office 2026. Who knows? But obviously, if I get any more info, I'll keep you guys posted and in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.